Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencast Online weekly tip video. Now you're probably already familiar with the built-in context sensitive menu within the Finder. So if I select a file, I can control or right click and get this menu here. I can rename files, duplicate them, uh, share them. Uh, I can't actually resize them though. That's not built into the Mac. Even under the services, there's no uh, resize or scale options. Now I could bring this into preview and resize it there and save it. But one of the reasons why the Mac is such a workhorse is due to the amount of customization and automation that could be so easily implemented. Now one of the unsung heroes of Mac automation is Automator, which allows you to create either simple or extremely complex automation actions using drag and drop. Now to demonstrate, I'm going to create a new service on my Mac that allows me to rescale images in the Finder. Let's go ahead and open Automator. And I'll say File New. And I'm going to create a new service. Now this will allow me to access the action I'm going to create from that pop-up menu in the Finder. So I'm going to go ahead and say Choose. And over here we have options to configure the action. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the service receive selected uh, text and change that to image files and then specifically in the finder. Okay, and now over here, these are all the various actions that are built into Automator. I'm gonna look for one which is to do with scaling images. So if I just type scale, you'll see here we have an option under preview. So these are all preview actions, but we can use these externally from preview. Preview just acts as the engine to perform these various actions. So scale images is the one I want. I can read down here what it actually does. So if I drag this across to here. Now, because this action will actually change the image files passed to it, it's given me the option to duplicate the file. So I have an original and one that's been acted upon. But for simplicity, I'll say don't add uh, that duplicate action. Right, so what I can do now is I can either rescale the images to a specific size or a percentage. So if I say percentage and say 25%, so if I just overtype that with 25, that's now done. Now there are ways to test this within Automator, but I'm fairly confident that has worked fine. So I'm going to save this. File save. And I'm going to save this as scale to 25%. And we'll say save. Let me close that down. Right, we'll go back here to the finder. So this particular image is 4,608 pixels. Uh, that's going to be wide. If I control or right click the image, go down to services, we should see, yep, there we go, scale to 25%. Select that, we see a little cog working up in the menu bar. Went very quickly, but now you'll see we've got this little cloud icon here showing me that that is now uploading to iCloud. This hasn't changed, but if I just go to another image and then click back on that image, yeah, we can see now that the dimensions are now 1,152 wide, whereas before they were 4,400, etc. And I can do this to multiple files as well. So let's say these last three files here. If I select those, control or right click, go to services, scale to 25%. It will actually regenerate those files. And again, you can see it's a quick action, so it's disappeared, but there's a cog up here showing me that the action is working and they're now being re-uploaded to iCloud because this is in my documents folder uh, under iCloud Drive. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.